Hello everyone, Curious here, and today I'm going to show you how to get 6 million credits in Gran Turismo 7. There is no faster way of getting 6 million credits than what I'm about to show you. It is, of course, the Nordschleife circuit experience. Very, very tricky circuit experience, unless you know the tips and tricks how to get around the Nordschleife. Some of you may know I also race in real life, not on just on sim racing, and I've driven the Nordschleife in real life. So I'm going to translate some of the things you pick up in real life into the game. As you can see, I haven't done this circuit experience yet, so I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing for the first time which is hopefully really really helpful for you i want us to all go on this journey and by the end of this video we're all going to be six million credits richer so i really hope you enjoy it let me know what you think let me know if you get the credits let's dive in to sector number one so we're in the bmw m6 very tell happy car we need to respect another first left hander break really early it's very downhill this corner and you can appreciate that in real life but in a game you can forget we're accelerating out in third gear it's nice and stable Next two right hands are flat out. Yes, two of them. Trust me on this one. Upshift early, turning early. And yes, you can do it flat out. Now we've got to smash the curb on the left hand side. Here we go. Down into fourth. Smash that curb. There's a bit of runoff here. We can accelerate out in fourth gear. Now pay a bit of respect to these corners here because they can undulate. Really need to get open for this corner here. And there we go. That's a nice way through. And we're going to keep it in fourth here because we're going to go over this curb and as soon as we get over the hill we're going to accelerate nicely in fourth gear no oversteer no drama that's not what we want and there we go that's the goal so the tips were for the first left in fact we'll go through and i'll show you on the replay because that was probably a bit too fast so let's have a look on the replay now so break really early for the left hander really 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 early accelerate out in third gear don't accelerate in second gear because it'll give you too much oversteer the next two right hands are flat out this one's easy flat this one is flat out as well please 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 do it flat early upshift there we go and for the next one you want to exit out of the complex in fourth gear so hit this curb on the left you can hit it a bit more it's going to scrub the speed there's a bit of runoff here accelerate in fourth gear pay this curb here a bit of respect this one you really want to go over because you want to open up this corner here accelerate and keep it in fourth all the way and this one you want to get all over this curb and as soon as you get over the crest in fourth gear, Bob's your uncle, really nice, accelerate it out. So you can play that again if you want to see, but that's sector one at the Nordschleife. And that's actually, if I remember, one of the harder sectors. So let's see what happens when we go on with some of the next ones. So sector two now very 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 fast and flowing sector commitment i'm going to show you where you need to lift and where you don't so going over the crest here we need to do just a little lift there we go just a little lift no braking and now it's flat 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 all the way up into sixth gear this is absolutely fantastic part of the circuit's drive over the jump now you've got to be a little lift here use as much as possible on the left hand side and we're going to break near the end of the curb and we're going to accelerate out again in third gear because otherwise we're going to have big problems with oversteer and now it's time for the run to the line and there we go there's the gold medal so we'll have a look again in the uh, third person camera i'm not using any assist by the way no traction control no counter steer assist put them on if you need to please 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 put them on if you need to I'm just trying to show you without the assist, if I was doing this in the race, in this car, I'd probably put TC on. So that's my recommendation. So flat, 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 flat. And then you've just got a lift. Um, when you get past the crest here, you won't be able to make this flat. Taking a healthy amount of that curb. And you can see all this is easy flat. And if you're new to the North Life, you know, when you come up for the first time, you won't think it's flat. But I've done 24 hour races and stuff and you have to do this flat in the night. So you need to commit. This corner as well, the easiest way is take as much of this on the left hand side as you can. Try and get a bit of grass even in Gran Turismo 7. And I went a little bit deep here, but the camber helps you out. Accelerate out in third gear. That will really help with the oversteer. And there we go, that's the gold. For sector number two, let's move on to sector number three. So here we go, sector number three. And I'm going to show you a corner where a lot of people crash in real life. Um, obviously, we've just done a really fast and flowing sector but there's a deceptively tight corner here. So we're going to go flat, flat, flat. And we're going to break at the top of this left-hander for the upcoming right-hander. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to break here, go down the gear. Down two more. And we want to get over here to where the zebra crossing is because this corner is really tight. Straight line. I'm up to third gear now because I don't want any oversteer issues. 
and now it's the run to the line. So that's the gold, and I'll show you the court. That left-hander there is where a lot of people crash in real life. So let's have a look at it. So this is all flat. No need to lift or brake or anything like this for these corners here. And I recommend just going down one gear when you brake at the, near the top of this crest. So we're going to go up, 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 brake, use a healthy amount of the kerb, brake. I like to go a bit deep here and then get to the right hand side, if that makes sense, to really open up this tight one. That's where a lot of people in real life go into the barrier. Up into third gear in the M6, this white twitchy car, run to the line. Let's move on over to sector number four. So here we go, sector number four. This is a really, really tricky sector. I really hope this is gonna help because this sector is, is downright scary, all about commitment. The left-hander, you have to dab the brakes a little bit. You can't do it with just a lift. Dabbing the brakes, ride that curb. We're gonna brake early here. We wanna open up the right-hander. So follow the left-hander curb round. Early upshift here, so you don't need to lift. And then we're gonna brake early here and get into this compression where the camber is really gonna help us. You can use the curb on the exit. Now we're gonna be flat through here, please be flat. Look at my pedals. We're going to be flat, 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 flat. And then you want to brake early here because it's not a particularly tight corner, so just scrub the speed early. There's a corner coming up that looks the same, but it's much tighter. Brake early here, super early, because the downhill bit will just kick your ass. I promise you. Turn in, turn in, turn in, turn a little bit wide. Up into third gear, third gear, third gear. Now punch it. We're going to race to the line, and it's going to be a gold medal. That is a really, really, really tricky sector. Super tricky. When you're doing 24-hour races here, that sector is, is terrifying. Let's have a look at it in third person. I'll show you what I'm doing. So in the M6, you can't do this left-hander with just a lift. You, you cannot do it with just a lift. So you have to dab the brakes. And we just want to follow this curb around. And here we really want to follow this one because we want to open up the right-hander. Now my tip here is early upshift to fourth, then you won't have to lift because of the um, camber changes. And here you want to get into the compression, use the camber and use the curb on the exit. This is flat. You can do this flat, I promise you. Just believe in yourself. Flat, flat, flat. Dab the brake here early. Follow the curb around. And then for this bit, you need to brake early. If you don't brake early enough, you'll think you make it. But because it drops down so much, and again, when you're driving this in real life, you're like, wow, you drop into it. You'll we'll just, we'll just go under and then keep going into the barrier. So there we go, sector four, really, really tricky sector. And coming up, there's going to be a corner that is very, very deceptive. So sector number five, there's a deceptive corner here. A lot of people crash. I'm going to show you exactly where it is. This left hand is a bit weird. You just want to minimize the, over the understeer, sorry. So I try and keep it as close as possible like that in fourth gear. And we're going to really open up this corner, hardly break for it because it's uphill. You just want to keep the revs going, keep the engine going. You can carry the speed all the way up the hill. So basically, don't brake too hard for that right hander to open corner. Now, have a look at this right hander here. It looks like an open corner, it's not. This is a hairpin, basically. You need to treat it as such, going quite deep, double apex on the power. It's a really, really, really interesting corner because it looks, looks, looks very open, but it's not open. I can assure you of that. And it's just going to be a gold medal, but that is a tricky sector. I was speaking a bit faster, so I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about. So this left-hander here, you basically want to exit it so you can get over to the left-hand side of the track. So don't carry too much speed to this corner. I know there's curbing on the outside, but you shouldn't really be near that in my opinion. You want to be on the left-hand side here, use this curb, barely brake because it's an uphill corner. You want to keep the momentum going up, carry the speed. So don't brake too much to that right-hander. Now this right-hander here, again, when you're doing 24-hour races, it blends in. This is a tight corner. You can't carry speed through here, so treat it like a hairpin double apex on the power now i exit in the fourth gear just to minimize the wheel spin and it's a run to the line and coming up is a very 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 fun fast and flowing sector sector number six let's do it so sector number six really fast and flowing part of the circuit painfully if you get it wrong i'll show you the tips and the tricks there's a real tip here so flat to his right hander then we need to get we need to find this patch to a great time i can run up here we go and as we get off that we're going to lift and you can see the tires bite so there's a bit more runoff there if we need it the next bit is completely flat out, just open up. Great place to watch in real life. And we're going to brake before the curb here in a straight line. And then we're going to just follow this curb around in second gear, second gear, second gear, third gear now, because now we're going to really deploy it. And it's time for the run to the line. So there you go, there's the gold medal. Really tricky complexes, but I'm going to show you that bit of tarmac I was talking about. 
because that opens up the whole complex. So we're flat through the right-hander. Flat, flat, flat. And then look, for, you have to do this knife racing as well. It's, it's scary. There, lift. A bit more runoff here if you need it. We didn't need it this time. Next bit is flat out. Make sure to open it out. Great place to watch on the left-hand side. Got some cool videos there. Break in a straight line before the curb starts. Hug the curb because the camera gets adverse. Up into third gear early in the M6. And then you don't get a lot of oversteer. And now it's going to be time for the carousel. So, section number seven. Time for the famous carousel. Quite weird to do in real life. In a game, we're just going to chuck it in because you can't break suspension. We're going to chuck it in in third gear, by the way. Don't go down to third. Uh, second, even. There we go. Keep and get, 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 keep and get. One wheel on the inside, one on the outside. And there we go. So, I'm going to explain that because that was very rushed, obviously. We're doing it in real time. But chuck it in in third gear, you want to keep one wheel on the flat bit and one wheel on the banked bit to push you around. So have a look where I'm turning in. And I'll try to keep one wheel on the flat bit. There we go. <laughs> and one wheel on the raised bit. And then you just jump out there up into fourth gear. If you come out in third gear, because the car's kind of bouncing, it will just want to spin you out. So upshift to fourth gear on the way out. But the carousel's a tricky one to explain, to be honest. Let's head on over to section number eight. So, sector number eight, this is where the Nautilus Life starts to feel like a traditional circuit for me. A bit more brake, apex, accelerate. These first few bits are flat though, flat to the right-hander, flat in the left-hander, and then we're going to brake early for this left-hander to open up the next right-hander. So brake early, 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 ride it, ride it, ride it. And you can see it really opens it up. Stay wide here because this corner you can get on the power earlier than you think. There we go. This is all flat, by the way, this corner here. So you're going to go flat through here, and then we're going to brake early to stay to the left-hand side here. Because that means, again, we can open up this corner. Carrying a lot of speed. This corner is blind, but you can get on the power a lot earlier than you think. There we go. On the power, on the power, on the power. Brake early here because we want to open up the right-hander. It's a critical corner. Use the runoff if you can. Runoff on the left-hand side and the exit here as well. And now it's the run to the end of the section line. So going down to fourth gear, you can carry more speed than you think. Because it's uphill. And then it's the run to the line. And that's going to be the gold medal jest. <laughs> But I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing in, in third person. It's not an easy circuit experience. So we exit the carousel, and in my mind, this is kind of like the third sector of the Nord's life. It's now the circuit bit. And um, flat through here, we want to break early for the left-hander to open up the right-hander. Early, early, early. Kind of opens it up. We get left-hand side here, use the runoff. This corner's quite fast. You could actually be a bit tight and get on the power. And next right hand is flat. We want to brake soon after it to get over to the left hand side. So flat, flat, flat. Great, great, brake. Use a bit more curb there. Use a lot more of this curb on that side. This bit is a blind corner, but again, you can go over the crest here and now be flat. Get over left hand side. Again, you can use a bit more of the runoff here on the left hand side there to open it up. And you can use runoff on the exit. And this corner here, I just need to get a bit tighter to the right hand side, just a bit more tight turns up on this curb here but anyway that's where i lost a bit of time that's sector eight let's move on over to sector number nine by the way if you're enjoying this please do hit the subscribe button it really 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 would help out this channel i massively appreciate you know i hope you find this helpful because this is fun to do but tricky sector number nine so sector number nine lots of fast and flowing corners lots of blind corners they look very similar but they're very different this left hand is very tight so break a bit deep take a late apex up the gears use the runoff from the exit it's a tight corner now it's flat 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 over a jump and this is really scary in our racing at night brake just after the jump jump brake turn in pace and this is all going to be flat early upshift there because we were losing the car this is all going to be flat 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 this right hand is flat make sure to open it up it's easy flat next bit's flat as well and we're going to brake a little bit after that curb stops left hand side so braking there and then keep it tight here because it's quite a tight corner and it's going to be the run to the line how are we going to do it's going to be a gold medal by 410 so that is actually one of my favorite sectors i crashed there in a very important i race in 24 hours race so i was like well i need to practice this sector but this one is the one that can catch you out especially when you do endurance racing you're tired it's very very tight go straight into that barrier use the um, exit curb here this bit is all flat Go and go for the jump. Just keep it straight. Brake as you land. Straight, brake, power. Because it's cambered. You need to carry the speed through. The Nord's life is just ridiculous, isn't it? 
what a great, can you believe they did this in real life in Formula One? Just like, kudos to those people. This is absolutely insane. You have to be mad to do this. Right, break here, kind of in between the that ending and this one starting. Uh, maintains the speed. Keep it to left here. Don't go to the right because a camber will kill you. So keep it close to this curb and you can see where you're going into the mini carousel. Time for sector number 10. Let's do it. So sector number 10 is not that difficult. I promise you, it's one of the easier sectors. A bit of respite. Mini carousel. Don't pay that much respect. Just ignore it. Turn in. Get really close in this divot. Accelerate out in fourth gear. Now for the multi-apex right-hander, just don't carry too much speed at the beginning. We want to sacrifice some speed. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Now we're flat. Now we're flat. Because we've opened it up. Get really tight here. Tight on this curb. The M6 is really nice through there. It's going to be flat, 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 flat to the sector gate and it's going to be a gold medal and now it's time for the straight are you enjoying this by the way let me know in the comments if you're enjoying it please subscribe if you are um this is a difficult one to do this is a difficult one to do and i hope i hope we we're all going to get looks like i was swearing at you there i wasn't cross fingers <laughs> it's time now for the dottinger hair which is the last section and then we just got a break and get over the line So here we go, time for the straight. Time for the straight and just relax, think about what we've achieved together. You and me, we've, we've come through this. We've, oh, we're not gonna do the straight. What, no relaxation time. Okay, we just got a break. I didn't even get to do the straight. Flat, 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 flat. Break, break. So I thought we were gonna get the whole straight, but we don't, so. <laughs> We're going to do the big braking zone at the end. On the right-hand side, that's where you go on the circuit if you drive for real, which I could really recommend. But we're going to hit these corners at pace. So have a little while I'm braking because this is real intense. Happens very, very, very quickly. So we're going to be flat through here. Flat. Flat. Brake, 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 brake. Get over this curb here. We're going to ride it over here. Ride it and then brake nice and early to open up this corner. Second gear. And there we go, that's the gold medal. So that's gold for all the sectors. Let's have a look at that in third person because I'm telling you, that is such an intense. Doing the Nürburgring 24 hours just drains me. Imagine doing this in the dead of night, like when you've been awake for many, many hours. It's how they did it for real, I don't know. But anyway, hit the corners at pace. So we'll be flat through the left and the right hand, and then we're gonna try and break in a straight line. And we're gonna try and mount the curb on the right hand side. So flat through here, flat through here. And then we're going to try and mount this curb here. Mount this one here. Break really early here. Slow according to you think. Get very close to that barrier. Accelerate over line. That's all the sectors done. Now we want to get that money, don't we? We want to get that six mil. Let's do it. Let's do the circuit experience finale. Which is going to be the track in one go. Let's do it. So here we go. It's time for the big one. I'm with you, by the way, viewer. I know this is difficult. I know, I know, I know. We're going to do it together. We're going to get there together. Break early here. Into the compression. Exit in third gear. There we go. Nice done. Use curb on the outside line. Next two corners to be flat. Trust me, viewer. We're going to get there. Flat, 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 flat. Believe in yourself. Now we've got to smash the curb left-hand side in fourth gear. Ready, ready, ready. Smash it. Exit in fourth gear. Turn in the car. Nice, 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 nice. Respect this curb left-hand side. Respect it, respect it. Mount this one into the compression, fourth gear exit. Nice, nice, nice. Really get over this curb around sides. Really over it. There we go. Fourth gear exit. Nice, nice, nice. Sector one done. Complete. Relax a bit. All. A bit. All? A bit all is my new word for relax a bit little. I don't know. Lift it over the elevation. Lift, 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 lift. That'll do. Nice, nice, nice. Relax a bit more. Two more corners to go before we go into the forest. So we're going to lift a little bit for left-hander, maybe take a bit of grass, if we're feeling it. And then we're going to break before the curb for the right-hander. Here we go. Left-hander coming up very fast. Lift. Bit of grass, nibble it, break before the end of the curb. Down second gear for the rotation, and then third gear for the traction. Now into the forest. For me, this is really where sector one big, uh, ends. And now we're going into the forest. So flat through here, flat, flat, flat. And we're going to break near the top of this left-hander. So have a look, we're going to break, 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 break now, turn in, break again tighter, and then we're going to hit this um, zebra crossing down the second gear, open up this right-hander here, third gear exit, you can use that kerb, 
and we're through that sector it's now time for the commitment so we're going to go through the very fast left hand just a dab of brake as fast as we dare really here we go that's as fast as I dare brake nice and early here because we want to follow this curb around follow it follow it follow it follow it early upshift into fourth so we don't need to lose too much time there go into the compression don't brake too late use the camber there's curb on the exit as well that we can use there it is we needed to use it this time flat through the next bit believe me believe me believe in yourself be flat through here flat 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 nice 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 dab the brake here it's a fast set of corners dab 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 power 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 we're going to brake early here otherwise the elevation will kill us so braking early early down into second gear second gear second gear second gear up into third now for the traction bit of a lift this rotation and now it's time for the tricky left hander we want to sacrifice speed for left hander because the right hander is more important so we're coming in sacrifice speed sacrifice sacrifice over to the left hand side here don't lose too much speed yes that's nice really in the dip up in third gear right time for the deceptive corner where a lot of people will crash we're not going to do it we're not going to crash here because we remember it flat through here and treat it like a hairpin go deep we went deep take it a second apex up a gear nice bit of um overseal on the exit but that will do third gear it's now time for the very fast and flowing section remember we're already thinking about that bit of tarmac on the right hand side we need to see that bit of tarmac on the right hand side fast 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 and flat right are we ready for it it's a real commitment piece it's a real commitment piece this one we're looking for it where is it there it is right we're going to go over it and then lift over it lift there's more on the runoff there if we need that we didn't need it flat through this next bit open it up opening it up and we're going to break before the curb starts down second follow this curb around follow it follow it follow it third gear for the traction and we're going to dive into the carousel really tricky this we're going to dive in in third gear there we go diving in two wheels on the uh, down bit two on the elevated bit and then we're spitting out the carousel nice 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 right another breather for a little bit before we head into the really technical part of the Nordschleife flat through here we're going to break a little bit early for left hander to open up the right hander break open up this right hander there we go use a bit of the curb here this bit is fast this bit we're going to be flat after this as well so we're flat from now this right hander's flat believe me it's flat there we go sacrifice speed here to open up the next right hander there we go and this bit is blind but it's fast so you can get on the power now fourth gear to make it a bit easier open up this one because the right hand is tricky a little bit wise can make a double apex there we go use that runoff there if you need to let's run off on the exit this bit's tight tight and uphill so break a bit late take a late apex carry more speed than i did through there but there we go with three tight corner this one before we go into some flat sections so that's tight but now it's flat we're going to go over the jump again break after the jump turn in power after the jump power 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 there we go and it's flat now it's flat into lift there but really it's flat open this one up watch out for the bit of curb that comes out just about here flat 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 we're almost there viewers we're almost there break just after this curb ends i haven't really got a reference to this part it's tricky break early here you don't want to use the adverse camber into third gear there we go that will do into the mini carousel now we're gonna chuck it in in third gear so very very tight very tight very tight and we're over the top the mini carousel just one corner to go before we get on straight come on we can do this chuck it in in third gear hesitant 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 let's not throw it all away fourth gear fourth gear be brave okay we're on the straight now so 637 to get that gold this is a long straight this is a long straight like really long i tell you what ignore the clock now when you're doing this for real ignore the clock it's in the gt god sands now i'm not looking at the clock i'm just thinking about my braking zone thinking about my braking zone we're going to be flat we ready flat flat break break we went wide there
gold. Six million credits in the bank. Let's look at the replay. Respect. Respect, viewer. We did it. So, here we go. In the M6, brake early. Third gear exit. By the way, if you completed this, put in the comments, Nautilus Life Master, because you, if you complete the circuit experience, you are a Nautilus Life Master, honestly. I've done this in iRacing, I've done this in real life, I've done it in GT. This is tricky, so if you can do it and you've done it, put Nautilus Life Master in the chat. Everyone like those comments because you're part of the fraternity, the sorority, whatever it is, you're part of the club. We've mastered this, uh, this greenhouse. So, sector one we talked about many times. So we're going to go over the elevation now. And we're going to lift a, bit, a little bit. You don't want to carry too much speed through the first bit. You might think you're okay, but the second bit's tight as well. So really scrub the speed. Flat, relax now, mentally relax. It's my suggestion, just I mentally relax here. Take stock, we've made some good progress in the lap. Lift a little bit here. Take a bit of grass if you can. Maybe just a blade. Break before the end of the curb. Second gear. Third gear exit for the rotation. Flat, 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 flat. And we're going to break at the top of this left hander. To open up the right hander. So break, 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 break. And I don't mind getting close to this curb because I know I'm going to aim for that zebra crossing or zebra crossing for our North American friends and uh, exit out here in third gear now it's commitment I'm thinking about commitment I hope you find this video helpful by the way give me any comments if you've got anything I can improve and uh, like always please feel free to like subscribe I'm so grateful for all of the subscribers we get it blows my mind it blows my mind thank you I'm so grateful get into the compression here can use I had to use the curb and exit I think I just hit that curb and it pushed me wide flat you can be flat through here I believe in you flat 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 dab the brakes a couple of times and then brake early here do not be greedy here you can't be, it's such a steep elevation change it's like going downstairs in the house like very quickly Again, don't be too greedy here. It's a weird corner, this one. It's a, well, this corner's a bit like... Got some bad voodoo with this corner. You can somehow hit that wall. And then believe in yourself that because of the elevation, you can apply more throttle than you think. Now, think, 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 especially in a 24-hour race. The next corner's tight. Tight, tight, tight. Just remember it. I see so many people smash into that wall. Just treat it like a hairpin. It's, it's not as tight as a hairpin, but mentally, I treat it like a hairpin so I remember it. To me, that's like the carousel. So that's my little mental tip there. Because I'm stupid. Uh, right, flat out through here. And now I'm thinking about that patch of tarmac that we want to hit. We want to hit that patch of tarmac. Flat, flat, flat. Here's the tarmac. You want to get over it. Two wheels. There we go. Lift. There's a bit more runoff here if we need it. That's our kind of safety net. Not much of it, just a little bit flat through here. Great place to watch here. The cars come flying through. Down to second gear. Keep it nice and tight. You don't want to fall off the edge of the circuit. Accelerate out in third gear. Carousel, you might have noticed I didn't take any chances. I just kept it nice and steady. So we'll chuck it in in third gear. Try and get two wheels on the flat bit. And steady on the exit because the, the back end might want to come around on you the m6 it's not a great advert this circuit experience for the m6 because <laughs> it's so tricky to drive braking here opening up the right hander there we go and then we're going to be flat ready to be flat 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 through this bit but then we're going to break quite early braking early to open up this right hander almost i almost got over that curve the car didn't want to but if i got over it I would have had a few tents for free. Get, get over that, it's blind, but you've got to believe. Same circuit, this. Get tight here, you can use the exit. Lots, a lot of people watched there. It's not 
Honestly, it's not as fun to watch though. Watch at that place where the cars come zooming by. Right, now it's going to be flat over the jump. You've got to believe in the jump. When you're in the air, anything can happen. So you just got to... You may as well close your eyes when you're in the air. Because you can't do anything. Flat, flat, flat. We're flat for ages now. Flat. Flat through here. Watch out for that curve. Don't be lazy. And then I don't have a marker, I'm afraid. It's, I've crashed here in an important race. I don't have a marker. Turning nice and early here. You don't want to fall off the circuit. Can happen. Don't respect the mini carousel. It's not the main carousel. Just ignore it. Just absolutely hurtle through. And do not throw it all the way at this stage. Don't be too greedy. May as well. The straight's long enough that you're going to you're gonna build up to kind of max speed. So, right. And now it's time. If you've made it this far and you want a lap that you believe is going to get you 6 million credits, it's basically now two 6 million credit corners, if that makes sense. Because you've only really got to worry about the right-hander and then the next right-hander. They're the tricky ones. So, going full pelt now. Fantastic to come onto the North Shife here in real life and just see, like, supercar zooming by. It really is incredible. Real privilege. Flat through here, flat through here. Now, this right hand is tricky. You want to get over the kerb. Left hand is pretty easy. I went too wide here. I almost threw it all away. Like, you've got to look how much space there was. I could have been overtaken. And don't throw it away to the line. Please, 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 please. And there you go. I really, ho I really, really hope making this video in London late at night, half past midnight. I really hope there's people watching all over the world that this has helped and they are now six million credits richer. Woo! And you feel like you earned it, right? This is not a glitch. This is not an exploit. This is hard work rewarded. I love what they did with the seven million credits. I love what they did here with changing the credit rewards. We shouldn't be rewarding grinding, in my opinion. That's just back to front. Reward is getting better at the game. You know, I've got a buzz now, and we got that connection. If we made it through, we got that connection. So, show. I'm Sean Connery now. If you enjoyed that video, please, please, please do hit that like, subscribe as well. It'd be great to have you. If you found this helpful, please share it as well to anyone that might find it helpful. I'm sorry if I can't explain everything in the best way. I'm not a pro racing driver. I do this in my spare time, but I just want to make it easier for people and unlock these credits. So there we go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Happy racing.